Hey there, and welcome to this video about web application frameworks. I decided to make this video because we have a lot of different frameworks out there that we can use to make our web application in. And sometimes it might be a little tricky or uh, difficult to choose between these frameworks. And that's why I decided to create this video. So in here we're going to talk about the topic about being opinionated or not, that these web application frameworks can either be opinionated or unopinionated. So what does that mean? Well, first, if we take a couple of these frameworks and box them up in different categories, we can see that, uh, for instance, Angular and uh, Django and Laravel are opinionated. And what does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about this in just in a minute. And on the other side, we can see that React and Express.js and Node.js are unopinionated. So what does that mean? Well, first, if we take the opinionated frameworks, we take a look at the pros and cons of these frameworks. Usually, we've defined the best practices up front, and usually they're tried and true. So we have the best practices already defined. That could be either in the structure of the directories, the MVC structure or something like this, or in another way. And also the framework designers have built a, what we could call a, um, a happy path. So it makes development easier and also faster because there is this golden way that you can use to design and develop your application. And usually these frameworks include a, a lot of functionality out of the box. So there might be a lot of libraries that are already included in the frameworks uh, that you have ready to use. This can be both good and bad. On the con side, we can see that if you must do something unusual that is outside of the scope of the framework, it usually will require some extra work because if you want to uh, make a customized feature or something like this that the framework is not prepared for and maybe you need to break the default directory structure, then you will have to do some extra work to make it work. So that will be a disadvantage there. And also because you have this uh, huge amount of functionality out of the box, you will usually have a larger framework size. And finally here, we can see that this is not true for all frameworks, but they might, might require optimization or caching techniques in order to achieve required performance. And if you have a lot of functionality and libraries installed default, then you might have to optimize your web application in the end because it is a larger framework size and there are many dependencies that need to work together. And in order to get a required performance, you might have to do some optimization and caching. So to recap about the opinionated frameworks is that usually they will dictate the structure and the architecture and you can kind of lean towards them and you don't have to decide on the structure and the architecture yourself. So the unopinionated frameworks, let's have a look at those. And it might be kind of the opposite way here because you are free to define your own architecture your structure. So they will not dictate any default structure that you have to follow. So you're free to do this. So you have a lot of freedom here to define that. Usually it is also a smaller and more lightweight footprint as you only have the core packages included. And if we take a look at the Express.js framework, it is described as a minimalist and unopinionated framework. So it is also smaller and more lightweight typically than, for instance, we can take Laravel. That is an opinionated framework that will include many more things uh, than express. And finally, in the pros, we can see that because it is smaller and more lightweight, usually we can have better performance out of the box uh, due to this smaller footprint and also number of libraries. So we don't have uh, the same amount of libraries installed in, let's say, Express.js than we have in Laravel. But this is where we, you can usually optimize this uh, using caching techniques in, let's say, Laravel. Consequences. If you want to use an unopinionated framework like Express or something like this, or Flask, usually it requires uh, some solid software engineering skills because you need to be able to create your own architecture, you need to be able to manage it and maintain it so that you can also uh, maintain this web application in the future. And it requires some solid skills to create your own architecture that is the right one. 
and um, you also generally have to make more choices uh, regarding libraries which one you should install which best practices you should choose from because if you don't have a default set of installed libraries you have to go to the package market the npm maybe and the node packaging manager to decide what libraries what packages you need and which one are the correct one and which one is the best one so if we take a look here in the end on the factors that you can consider when you should choose a web application framework and again this is just my uh, humble opinion about this humble knowledge and doesn't have to be the correct one but it could have something to do with the project type if it is a standard project uh, it could also be a highly customized where you need to go out of the box and you need to be able to define your own structure it depends could also be regarding the development team experience if you have a really experienced development team that is really really experienced in express js or something or node js then you will have the knowledge to maybe create your own architecture or best practice but if you have an inexperienced uh, development team that have limited knowledge to frameworks let's say uh, how you should develop a web application maybe it could be uh, the best choice to go with an opinionated framework because the framework will help you uh, in some of the um, important decisions regarding the structure for instance could also be about the time frame if you have a lot of time available or not so much time could also be about scalability requirements because if you need to scale this application up really aggressively there might be some frameworks that are better than others and also depends on the amount of libraries of course and lastly about the tech stack if you need to use a php or a lamp stack then you already limit your amount of web application frameworks to that as opposed to if you are using ruby or c sharp .net, something like this that will dictate what uh, frameworks you can choose from okay so this concludes what i wanted to say about this topic here web application frameworks and opinionated or not and i hope it can help you in the decision making of what framework you should choose for your project thank you for watching the video bye bye